Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 4. In the last part we defeated Laser Man finally and now it's time to end the game off, folks. Once you pass this warp hole you cannot save, as I mentioned last part. And welcome to the final area in the game and it's nicely purple. Now there is actually a new virus here which we'll be seeing right around now. Sir Kill! These guys are interesting to say the least. Uh, they actually, as their move, as their name would suggest, they move in a circle around their panels. And when they're on the same row as you, they fire a buster shot at you. Uh, if you paralyze them, they're actually no big problem at all. They only have 110 health, so uh, most of my chips can actually do a pretty good job against them, but other than that, they're just annoying. They're pretty much there as a final health reducer, which isn't really needed. I really want to eat these Pringles that are next to me, but at the same time, I don't want to make the chewing sound effects on on uh, recording. Oh well. And that's the last virus battle in the game, ladies and gentlemen, because the final boss is just to my northeast. I'm using, one, using one last full energy so I don't go in with no health. Land! That must be the control system! Oddly steering wheel shaped. Wonder how we can get in there. Ah! We were so close! Evil energy detected. Careful, Mega Man! You're not alone! Whoa! Floating head! I am the OS for this anti planet missile. Duo. Anti-planet missile? What do you got against our planet? The only command in memory is to judge and destroy evil. A massive amount of evil's been detected on your planet. It is you humans. You are highly intelligent, but have evil in your hearts. I must punish your planet according to my program. What? I'm not gonna let you do that. This ends here. How interesting. Let's just see how powerful you really are. Do you have the power to wipe out your own evil? Boo! What? <laughs> Whoa, eye lasers! Ah! What the? Mega Man, behind you! Try my Dark Soul. Bring it on. Show me what you got. Listen up, Mega Man. This is a battle against yourself. Okay, operate away. Leave it to me. Here we go, Mega Man. Battle routine set. Execute. And finally, at the end of the game, we get to fight our own Dark Soul. He is essentially just you fighting your actual self. He has your exact same folder, exact same HP, and exact same Navi Cuss. So, say if you have Undershot on he will be left with 1 HP after a critical hit. And he'll... Now when I say folder, I mean the exact folder you have. Although I don't think he'll ever use Giga Chips. Uh, he himself won't use Double Soul because he himself is a Dark Soul, kind of the opposite of that effect. <laughs> and actually, uh, you can... If you really don't go for any HP memories, this fight is really easy, because all it takes is a sword and a charge shot, really. He is honestly not that hard. I mean, if you have a more complex folder, I mean, sure, he can do some good damage against you. But eventually he'll just run out of chips and start just using your his buster. Which is your buster, keep in mind. So, nothing really too dangerous with him, honestly. I mean, I like the look of him. I like the whole black Mega Man look. Kind of reminds me of Legends, honestly, when you get yourself completely blackened. Uh, he's not that threatening. If he got to use the dark chips, he would be an interesting fight. Then again, he would probably one hit kill you at that point. Ah, <laughs> oh, my throat's a bit messed up right now for some reason. Now, honestly, this fight can be either just really short or really long, depending on your folder and your health total. 
Nothing too big. Though it is funny to see him walk into lava panels like that. <clears throat> so yeah, duo, huh? <laughs> From Mega Man 8. Uh, for him to show up now. We did it! So you managed to defeat the evil within. A fine battle. However, you only succeeded in repressing your evilness. It is gone for now, but will likely return one day. In short, you are not powerful enough to defeat evil. Living creatures all have good and evil in their hearts. No duh. The important thing is what to whether you can fight your own evil when it awakes. My mission is to destroy evil, even if it means annihilating the human race. I won't let you do that. This ends here. I am only following my program. I must destroy you because of the evil you have within. Rawr! Battle body. Right arm. Left arm. Duo battle form. Lan? I know. We gotta save the planet. Here we go, Mega Man. Last routine set. Execute. I must destroy all evil. And that is a terrible impersonation of his Mega Man 8 voice. But final boss with... Kinda crap final boss music. Against Duo. 2000 HP. The tricky thing about him is that you can only hit him in that center spot that's glowing red right now, and only when it's glowing red. Otherwise, you're doing nothing. Uh, in terms of attacks, he has these missile attacks. He can either shoot out the it, one missile with that little purple thing on screen, or three missiles in, on each row. And then he likes to use his arms. He does the sweep attack, which does a crap ton of damage. He also has an attack that he rains his fists down from the heavens with. And, uh, I think when he gets later in the health bar, he starts shooting a laser out of that center cavity that has a certain shockwave effect to it. He's not that hard, honestly, it's just that he does a lot of damage. Also, for some reason, when I look at his arm that's on screen right now, I can only see the Star Force segment, uh, logo. <laughs> Also, he attacks like Flame Breath and Flame Line that hit using the ground like that have no effect on him because there is no ground for him. Yeah, good luck dodging that attack on your first playthrough. <laughs> on later playthroughs, though, he gets ridiculously high health. I think he reaches up to 3,000, which is kind of ridiculous. Really, though, he's not that hard. He's just kind of threatening and long and drawn out. Kind of wish I had two long sword L's at this point, honestly. Or long sword S's. Uh, Gundel Souls are actually a really good choice against him because they drain HP really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I will say though, I do like this design this design of duo, although it's kind of a weird departure from his original look in eight. Uh, I actually get some high max from X6 out of him. And this is the laser attack. I think he starts doing it once he reaches below half ha half. Hot ha I can't say half today. How about hot health? Yes. Red Sun's pretty good against him, just because of the pure amount of damage it does, though. And that shockwave, by the way, always that the laser emits always goes in that same pattern, so if you memorize it, you should be good. That sweep attack is surprisingly hard to dodge if you're not paying attention.
And just for proof of proof of concept, Barrier 100 is essentially just a barrier that you can get anywhere else that just has 100 hit points to it. However, essentially any one of his attacks will get rid of it. Yeah, this guy's strong. Also, you know what sucks? When you have an attack that you'll know will end it, and then he stops glowing red. As you're about to see with this Giga Cannon. Screw you, duo! I actually have to end up finishing this final boss with my Buster, which is an odd thing, because I actually never really have that happen. Like I said earlier, though, Duo, aside from the, this attack aside, which is surprisingly hard to dodge, he's not hard, he's just drawn out. I can tell you this, I'll be finishing the final bosses of 5 and 6 a lot faster than this guy. Then again, I, my folders will be, my folder in 6 will be amazing. Well, in comparison to this one. And in 5, I'll just have a lot more practice at that point, because I think it's a longer game. Oh, come on, that could've, that should've hit. How long have we been in this fight? Five minutes? <laughs> I'm not even sure at this point, honestly. And can you please die now? Thank you for dying! And now we watch him slowly explode. Again with the concentrated explosions, though. Odd. How did you beat my battle form? But it is too late. Gravity is already pulling the, mis the missile towards your planet. It is too late to change its course. Just wait and see. We won't ever give up. Then give it a try. I'm interested in seeing what you got. You should cross the bridge and then use the control system. Only one hour till it enters the atmosphere. Hurry, Mega Man! Okay. If I turn this... Dang, it's heavy! You can do it! As Mega Man fought for his life, Naxa told the world about the incoming asteroid and Mega Man's heroic effort. With only one hour to impact, the sudden announcement caused mass panic. All you think about is yourselves. At this very moment, Mega Man's out there risking his life. Jeez, these people are mean and assholes. Yeah, those crybaby adults. All they do is whine. That voice, it's... You, person, match. Match. Do you guys plan on just waiting here to die? I refuse to do that. I'm gonna go down in a blaze of glory. There must be something we can do. Yeah, we gotta help Fan Mega Man somehow. Now you're talking. He's heading this way with the asteroid, right? He might hear us if we yell really loud. Use your voices. Mega Man! Go for it! Mega Man, you can do it! Mega Man! Aha! What about you guys? I'm gonna yield till I'm on fire. Then I can die without any regrets. Rawr! Mega Man! Hang in there! Oh, that was easy to convince them. 
Meanwhile, led by the net battlers at the tournaments, the shouts from all over the world were conveyed to Mega Man. Natopia Coliseum Avenue. I'm rooting for you. I believe in you. Our clan has an old saying. Miracles happen for those who believe. Mega Man's a powerful Navi. I just know he'll save us. Yumland. And generic NPCs we don't care about. Netfrica. More generic NPCs uh, yelling for us to uh, win. <laughs> and Sharo. With a unique NPC we've never seen before. Lan Mega Man. Heal with me, guys. Only Land and Mega Man can save our planet. By the way, I should mention that is Rika. He is Search Man's operator, but since we didn't get get that scenario, we weren't able to see him. Go, Mega Man. We're all behind you. What the? Mega Man. Mega Man. Oh, that's not good. What's going on? Why have I been cut off from Mega Man? Seems like a power cable has snapped. The high voltage must have did him in. There's no way to operate him now. No! At this point, there's only one way to revive him. There's still hope? We must bypass the snapped cable to restore power. Like this! <laughs> Regal! Don't get me wrong. I shall create a world of utter evil. Ah! Regal! Mega Man! Mega Man! Hang in there! Hmm? No good. I can't move. But I'll never give up. Urgh. Give up already. 30 minutes to atmospheric entry. What's this? Why is the atmosphere vibrating like that? Vibration sensor on. And we can hear the cheers of the people! Human voices, that can't be. They're rooting for me. They're transmitting their power to me. Arr! What's this power welling up within Mega Man? They must be awakening some sort of latent power within him. Lan, lend me the power to save you all. Mega Man, you ready? Full synchro! Ah! Ah! Go for it! We did it! And then it does a 360 and hit the Earth anyway. Mega Man. Now I've seen what you can do. Your planet barely escaped destruction. I will delay punishing you for now. In the meantime, I will slumber as I travel the universe. Next time I pass by your planet, decades, or even centuries from now, you will again be judged. Then we'll see if, need be, if you need to be punished. Now be gone, little warrior. And with that Sentries line, actually, fun little fact, when Star Force 3 was initially announced, p people thought Meteor G, spoiler alert, there's a Meteor in that game, was actually Duo, but that proved to be wrong. The asteroid was thus averted. Hmm? Ugh. Huh? What about the asteroid? Oh yeah, Mega Man! Mega Man! Mega Man! No need to yell. I can hear you, Lan. The asteroid's gone, but it's not over. Wait, Regal. Dad! Darn! You mean I can't get up there? 
Dad! Lan. Grab onto this. Chud! Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Gotta prepare my voice for what's upcoming. What are you planning to do, Regal? I'm going to vanish. I won't let the officials arrest me. Wait! It's not too late to start over. You risked your life to save the planet. Chad's here, he's an official, so if you surrender and pay for your crimes... Lan, I don't think you understand. Paying for crimes is, furthest thing, is the furthest thing from my mind. I don't feel an ounce of guilt. You're the ones who should feel guilty. Thinking you've done good when you've really caused harm. Something that you think is right can actually be evil. Lan, didn't you chase my syndicate Navis? My syndicate's Navi to the park area and then destroy a Navi who had no idea what was going on? Chard. You must have deleted countless Navis claiming it was your duty. Some of them were probably innocent. Dr. Hikari. If you hadn't pursued your net Navi project, the crime wouldn't be as bad as it is now. And the scientists who uncovered this thriving net society exiled a certain robotic scientist and fell into evil ways. I once knew that exiled scientist. He was my father. That means you're... <clears> hmm. <throat> Never mind that. Let's stick to the matter at hand. Humans commit crimes without even realizing it. In short, you're all criminals. You and your entire race. Criminals judging criminals. Don't you find it ridiculous? That's why I'm resisting arrest. I won't be judged by anyone. I intend to stick to my beliefs till the bitter end. Even when I'm gone, evil will still remain. Farewell. Wait! Regal! Evil will still remain. And that, as dark as it is, is the end of Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 4, everyone. Well, I did enjoy this one as a bit more than I thought I was going to, I still think this is the weakest game in the series. The randomness especially, I hate that. The fact that you need to play the game so many times in order to get what you really need, I find ridiculous. Soundtrack-wise, well, I think there's some strengths in it. Yeah, I can barely remember most of the tracks, so yeah, there's that. Well, I do th well, I actually do like this game's individual story. That's just that, the story. And in terms of the post-game for this one, there is no way in hell I'm doing it. <laughs> Why? Because I'd have to play through the game at least two or three more times in order to get it all. And I do not like that. Well, I do like the entire Nebula plot. I still think that, while I like Duo as a final boss, even though he's long and drawn out, especially his design, he comes out of nowhere, let's be honest. In terms of the next game in the Battle Network series I'm going to play, I'm doing Battle Network 5 Team Proto Man. However, that won't be at least for another year, because I'm not sure if you noticed it at this point, but I, the way I play the Battle Network series is that I do two games, then I take about a year-long break, and then I do another two. And with that, with that though, uh, the, that means the next one that I'm playing, when I get to these games again, I'll be finishing the series off. In terms of the Double Soul system, actually, I do quite like it. We'll be seeing it again in 5, I can tell you that much. And while I'm saddened I didn't get Search Soul, I, I do think the ones I got, Thunder Soul aside, are rather decent. Also, by the way, this came around the Mega Man 15th anniversary, which was about 10 years ago, almost. Oh, that hurts. Actually, a lot of American winners there, wow. With that said, though, if you want to play this game, which I at least... 
if you're curious, I do recommend checking it out, because it is at least fun enough. Uh, you can only get it on the Game Boy Advance. There's no remake of it or anything. Uh, you can either get Red Sun or Blue Moon, which has some exclusive souls. It, each version has some exclusive stuff like Giga Chips and Navis, obviously. Now, I think in a... Uh... No, actually, no. Yeah, I was about to think uh, maybe you do the Sharo satellite thing that they mentioned at when we first uh, got to Naxa, but I don't think they do. I think you follow the same story no matter what. And also, with uh, what Regal said about a certain scientist, it's pretty much obvious by that alone that he is actually Dr. Wily's son. Which is an odd thing, because he never had a son in Classic. Odd. And my fire cleaner time was just over 11 hours. And wow, my data library sucked, not a single mega chip. That'll change in 5, I can tell you that much. I think. Probably. Most likely. But yeah, this game, it's alright. I still think it's the weakest in the series. <laughs> Three days after the asteroid incident, Dr. Regal's whereabouts were still unknown, despite a full investigation. At the Coliseum in Natopia, a delayed ceremony was held. What's wrong? Why the glum look? That's not like you. Oh, I just can't stop thinking about what Regal's last words were. I'm not in the mood to celebrate. You mean that thing about evil still remaining? I think he's right. Still, we all should have the power to overcome it. All of us have the power to fight evil. So we must build a world in which everyone as a place in preparation for when Dua once again comes to this world. Centuries from now. Yeah, you're right. Besides, we're the ones who are gonna build a new age. Huh? You mean I gotta do something? Net battle technique. What what I should do? Land, show us your best move. We came all this way to see you perform. Get it together. Land, Mega Man, you can do it. Is everyone here? Don't get nervous. My mom's here? Stop stalling. It's gonna get dark soon. And Chad too? Hmm. Seems we've got no choice. Ready, Mega Man? Yep, always am. Jack in, Mega Man, execute! And with that, I'm gonna need to end this Let's Play off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. Whatever that may be. Probably the original Legend of Zelda. See you guys then.